and a pleasant good Monday morning. It's the 23rd day of May. It was only it was only 69 degrees over the weekend, and it should be in the lower 70s today, and mid to upper 70s tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday, as we start heading into Memorial Day weekend. The weather should be mild and mostly sunny. But yes, we have really good weather this week here, and. Of course, Memorial Day is like the unofficial beginning of summer, you know, because it's very close to the end of the school year for some of us, and a lot of people are going to have three-day weekends, maybe four days. But since, it's, since, since everything is almost normal, a lot of people will be traveling, you know. I'm sure the airports are going to be crowded. I'm sure the roads are going to be crowded. Also, I'm sure... Metrolink and Amtrak will also be crowded. But yes, well, happy birthdays going out to uh, former pitcher Jordan Zimmerman and to Ricky Gutierrez. Also a happy birthday to Maxwell. Also a happy birthday to Karen Duffy. Known for, yes, I remember her from the movies Blank Check and Dumb and Dumber back when I was in high school. And um, also a happy birthday to Ramon Ortiz and a happy heavenly birthday to General Johnson, best known with chairman of the board. Well, uh, after a heartbreaker yesterday on Muncie's error, the Dodgers are in Washington, D.C. for the next three games. Uh, the Giants host the Mets and the Brewers host the Padres. But... The Eastern Conference Finals resume tonight. And I hope that the Miami Heat go up three games to one on the Boston Celtics. I mean, but Boston is still undefeated following a loss in the playoffs and the Celtics haven't lost back-to-back -back games yet. But unfortunately for Dallas, they're one loss away from being swept in the Western Conference Finals. And even though I'm a Laker fan, it's hard to root for the it's hard to root for the Warriors because they're in Frisco. But uh, well, we'll see if Dallas can at least tr try to stay alive tomorrow and get the series back to Frisco, because no team in NBA playoff history has come back from a three nothing deficit. I mean, I think there's been only two other occurrences that a team has rallied from 03 to force a seventh game. But it is hard. Yes, it is hard to be a Laker fan at the present moment because you traded away everybody. If we, if we would have kept Kuzma and Alex Caruso and Caldwell Pope, we still would have been playing right now in the Western Finals. Same thing for Brooklyn. I mean, both the Lakers and the Nets failed to live up to their expectations. And Steve Nash should have been fired. But, yeah, well, we don't know who's going to be the next Laker coach, but I still hope that the Lakers turn things around during the off season. I mean, the off season is gonna be really interesting once the finals are over. But you have to give the Warriors a lot of credit and you just gotta tip your hat to them. I mean, you, let's just hope the Celtics lose tonight then. All right, say it everybody. Boston sucks, Boston sucks, Boston sucks. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, Dallas, unfortunately, is facing elimination. And no, nobody thought Dallas would even make it to the Eastern, Western Conference Finals because we thought it was going to be the Warriors and the Suns. But Chris Paul, you know, and Devin Booker just had a bad Game 7. and Because, you know, the last year's teams that made it to the Finals couldn't do it. And... Well, Miami has a shot to get back. Well, they, they got to win tonight. 
because you never know what's going to happen. But you have to give credit when it's due. And I would hate to say it, but it looks like the Warriors might sweep the Mavericks. And Luka did the best he could. But Luka's got a bright future ahead of him, though. But we'll see. Uh, well, let's hope the Dodgers bounce back today, though. And let's go Mets, because they're playing the Giants. And go Brewers. All right. Amen.